wonder how I keep my tiny van so tidy and neat? I'll be sharing some of my best tips in this video. I get asked all the time if my van always looks this clean and tidy. And I'd have to say, mm, yes, it does. And it's not because I am particularly clean. I mean, don't look too closely at some things or that I am a great organizer, but I have set up some really good low maintenance systems that keep it this way, even when I'm too tired or too lazy to do anything. I found out a long time ago that if my space isn't calm and clear, my mind isn't going to be calm or clear either. And when the space is especially tiny, that is especially important. There is nothing more frustrating than looking for something in a 24 square foot area that you know that you have, but you just can't see it or it's hidden somewhere or you put it somewhere that you can't remember. I also know that in order to keep things simple in here, my strategy needs to be quick and simple or I'm not gonna do it. So here are three steps and some of my best tips to simplify a tiny space. And for ease of remembering, the three steps are declutter, define, and design. All D's because I'm D and that just makes it easy for you. And I'll be explaining all of those things as we go along. So let's do this, all right? Step one, declutter. In a small area, you really don't have the space to manage any extra stuff. And so you need to take a look at what you've got and make sure it's things that you use day to day. And if not, that it's stuff that can be stored away in an area where you know so that you can access it when you need to in the future. And it is really not as scary as it seems if it feels scary to you to think of organizing your entire space, just pick one little area at a time, take inventory of it and sort through things. And I'll show you how to do that. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And you see, see, I'm telling you, I'm not exactly that clean. That just needs to be cleaned off with a wet wipe or my hydrogen peroxide solution. But this is where I keep my toilet accessories. And then this used to hang up over here, but I found that when people were sitting down on this bench over here, they were clonking their head and we just had to move it anyway. And so I moved it over to this space, but then this has made this whole thing just a little bit unmanageable. So I'm gonna use this space to show you the process of decluttering. I'm going to clean off another area so that I have somewhere to put all this stuff so that I can take inventory of it and just see what I've got in this little space. Cluttering up. This is all of the stuff that I have stored in this little box. So when you're decluttering, you want to lay it all out, sort it all out, and then you will know what you have and if it makes sense for the area. For instance, all of these things are my toilet things that I originally had in there. So what I notice right away is that there are some things missing that I don't have in here that I should have in here. And the reason is because as I was reorganizing my van or remodeling it, I had always before kept my toilet stuff right where you are sitting on the cooler area. So the bags and the horse pellets that I have are underneath. So I will go ahead and get those out now. And just so you see, they were under here in a Ford Transit Connect. That is a little empty space here. And I will put things that make more sense for that area now that that is cleared out. But these things that I always had there because that is where I had my toilet stuff don't make sense there right now. They make sense over here in this box with the rest of my toilet stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put those here. So that all makes sense. Then now this was a catch-all and... 
oops, here are some more wipes, so I will want those in here. And these, these are the bags that I also use for my toilet. So then as you see, these are like games, little coloring things, a mirror. Here's a candle, some extra little tea candles that are citronella candles. I've got a fan that I use when it's hot out. That's one that can be hung around the neck when you're, oops, I just turned it on. And then games, more games. These are little dice and stuff. So this was where I had my fun stuff and easy to access stuff. And it doesn't need to be reorganized in that sense, but I do need to figure out if I still want it to go here or not. And then this is something I've been carrying around with me. It's for my windshield when I get little chips in it but this should not be in here. I just put it here for convenience when I was unpacking, but this should go into the area that I have in front under my passenger seat that holds all the tools, because that makes sense for that. If you are having trouble figuring out what you keep and what you don't keep, I simply ask myself, do I love it? Do I leave it? Do I think on it? If there's something that I really don't love, I'm not gonna keep it around. I'm just gonna give it away. Or the other things you can ask yourself is, do I use it? How often do I use it? Because if your answer is, I don't even remember that I had it, which that happens a lot when you're sorting through things, you're like, oh, like this, I forgot that I had it. I picked it up because I have some chips on my windshield and I probably would have done this three times because this is in an area that it shouldn't be. This should be with the tools. But if it was something that I don't even remember I had and I see it, I should just get rid of it or give it away. There's a lot of times I will have things for a whole year and I haven't used it once. Next time I'm at a van meetup, I'm gonna see if anybody wants it. A lot of people do that. Ask anybody who has been on the road for any length of time and they will tell you they have more stuff in their vehicles than they need and they're always getting rid of stuff or exchanging stuff. So remember, you can always pick something up if you need it along the way. There's tons of Walmarts and shops and things, and there are exceptions to that. If you have things that you need for maintenance for your vehicle, or that you want to keep to fix things or make things, create things, then those things obviously you're going to want to have, but keep them in a spot that is accessible, but maybe not in the way all the time. And keep those things that you use all the time out and available. Step two, define. And what I mean by that is now that you know what you've got, go through and sort like with like, and then categorize them or classify them according to what you use it for or what it is. And I'll go ahead and show an example of that now. Once you have decluttered the area, you will go to step two, which is to define it. And I've already naturally done that by putting like things with like things or function together, games and things like that, that I do for my leisure activities. If you have labels at this point, you might want to label certain things. If it's easy for you, like for me, once I know that they're in an area and they go together, I just know that in my head where they are and I keep it like that. So that is really step two. And step three is the fun part which is to design the area specifically for what you know you have and what you have classified everything as. And you do that by creating easy drop zones and easy access points. Here's a tip for you though. Flat surfaces, in order for things not to look cluttered, should remain as free as they can. Because just look at this. this looks cluttered even if i had books or my clothes or things in it it would just look more cluttered than when this is free that is why for me the drop zones are important think bins think bags think hooks think anything that will get your things together in one place and off of surfaces that are flat 
Now, when you're doing this, it's important to do it around the habits that you already have. Like if you are used to throwing your clothes on the front seat, for instance, or if you throw it on the bed all the time, you will want to try to think of a new system that is just as easy, but is more intentional with what you're doing. I will just put things back in and you will see how that goes. So now you can see all of my things are in their little drop zone, which in this case is an extra seat, but the surface of this seat beyond maybe just an occasional hat or sock or something that I am putting away remains clear and clutter free for somebody to sit on or for me to put my feet up on. And it just looks neat. Like you open it up, even though it looks neat in here, these are messy things they don't need to be out and so to have them in something it creates an instant clear free zone now the second point of designing your space is that things have to have easy access if they don't you are not going to maintain the system and by this i mean it needs to take one or two steps for you to get to it if it takes more than three you are going to get frustrated every time you have to get that darn thing out. So for me, it's step one, step two. Everything is here that I need and I can get it in one move or two moves. So if this were stored in the back of my van and I had to get out of my van and open the door and get it out and set it up and do that, that system would not be sustainable for me. Now, it may work for somebody else, and that may be the only way that you can do it, but I have found that if I can do it in a couple easy steps, I will maintain that system. It will maintain itself looking neat and tidy, and I don't have to think about it at all that way. The other thing is that it needs to be just as easy to put away as it is to get out. I take it out, use it. It's as easy to put back in as it was to take out. You probably see me do this every time you see a video of me cooking. I take out my stove, put it on my counter, and use it. And it's just as easy for me to, after I use it, take it and put it away. I created that intentionally because I didn't want my stove up on my counter all the time because I have very little space. And so that is my second tip. Make it as easy to put away as it is to take out. And chances are you will continue to do that. So I hope this has been helpful to you as you think about how to simplify your space. Once you get something in place, you will find that it gets easier and easier to go through these steps over and over again until you get it to a place where it is calm and clutter free and you can enjoy. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.